No more photography duty for astronauts. The Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency has developed a cute floating camera drone that can lighten the workload of astronauts on the International Space Station. The Int Ball weighs 1 kilo and has a diameter of 15 centimeters. It uses the existing drone technology, miniaturized altitude control sensors and actuators in an all-in-one module. The Int Ball arrived at the International Space Station last month and is remotely controlled by the JAXA Tsukuba Space Center from the ground. In the future, the Int Ball is expected to take over photography duties from the space crew and will be able to operate autonomously. At the moment, astronauts on the ISS spend around 10% of their time just taking photos and videos. With this camera drone's help, they now perhaps will have a bit more personal time in space. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Want to see more cool space tech stories? Keep watching. NASA to launch a repair robot into space in 2020. This is the Restore L. It's a special kind of robot. NASA's very own space repair bot, in fact. In the summer of 2020, NASA will launch the Restore L, a robotic spacecraft tasked with carrying out maintenance and repair on satellites orbiting Earth. NASA says Restore L will navigate Earth's orbit using a combination of advanced hardware and algorithms at speeds of over 16,000 miles per hour. This technology will allow it to calculate how to connect with a satellite orbiting the Earth at the same speed. Restore L will use dexterous mechanical arms to service satellites in low Earth orbit. This service will reportedly involve a maintenance check and repairs, as well as redeployment of the satellite. Restore L could also upgrade satellites and all in all prolong the lifespan of those already in space. If the mission is successful, NASA expects the Restore L could potentially jumpstart a new space servicing industry in the U.S. Scientists hope to launch interstellar fleet of laser-propelled spacecraft. A hit team of renowned scientists, Silicon Valley elites, and a billionaire businessman have come together to launch a fleet of postage stamp-sized interstellar spacecraft. Sounds like the pitch for a bad Bond movie, right? Well, if it was, 007 would have his hands full. Because this team includes Scientist Supreme Dr. Stephen Hawking, Russian billionaire Yuri Milner, and Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. All technology, including the camera for the tiny interstellar spacecraft, will be placed inside a postage stamp-sized chip. Called a star chip, this device would come with a light sail to form a nanocraft. The sail has a surface that would use Earth-based laser light to propel it along. The lasers would come from a mile-wide laser array potentially situated 13,000 feet above sea level in the Atacama Desert in South America. Using light energy from the 100-gigawatt laser array, the team plans to send a fleet of these nanocrafts to our closest star system, Alpha Centauri. If successful, a nanocraft could travel at 20% of the speed of light, or 134.2 million miles per hour, using laser light propulsion. At that speed, a nanocraft could traverse the 25 trillion miles to Alpha Centauri in a matter of decades, while a current spacecraft would take thousands of years. Dubbed Breakthrough Starshot, Milner has invested around $100 million in the nanocraft concept. However, it will still potentially cost billions and could take up to 30 years to get a swarm of the devices into space if the concept is shown to be successful. NASA's laser-powered spacecraft aims to reach Mars in 72 hours. NASA scientist Philip Lubin is working on perfecting laser technology that could propel a light spacecraft to Mars in as little as three days. Photons emitted from excited atoms in a laser have energy and momentum, which forms the basis of laser-based propulsion. Photons are released in a beam from a laser. When photons from a laser array reflect off an object, their energy is translated into a push that's capable of moving objects like a spacecraft. Rather than using a giant laser a la the Death Stars, researchers imagine an array made up of a large number of amplifiers that sync up and act like one big laser. The spacecraft launched with this technology will include a robotic probe and a large reflective sail. The spacecraft will be light because no fuel is needed. And this spacecraft could be accelerated to 30% the speed of light, which was previously unheard of. This technology could produce enough momentum to get a robotic spacecraft to Mars in three days and send a manned shuttle to Mars in a month. 
Using photonic propulsion, interstellar travel may be possible, and we could get a probe to Earth's nearest star, Alpha Centauri, in as little as 15 years. In comparison, our current technology takes four to eight months to get to Mars. It took 37 years for the Voyager 1 spacecraft to reach the edge of our solar system. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Huge balloon capsule will take you to space in 2017. For a lofty $75,000, you'll be able to be part of a new tourism effort in the Voyager capsule and be carried to the edge of space by the end of 2017. Worldview Enterprises is offering to send passengers to an altitude of 100,000 feet above the ground in a capsule carried up by a giant balloon. Once fully inflated with helium, the balloon will expand to about the size of a football stadium. The capsule will be equipped with large windows and will be able to carry up to six passengers and two crew members. The ascent into the stratosphere will take roughly 90 minutes and the vessel will cruise for about two hours before descending. The balloon will separate from the capsule at 50,000 feet above the ground, at which point the para wing will guide the capsule to the landing site. On October 24, 2015, Worldview launched a successful test flight with a 1,000-pound replica of the capsule. The company is now ready to begin full-scale testing in mid-July 2017 and hopes to bring space tourism to the masses at the end of the same year.